Well, hello and welcome. Uh, this is Nate, and I've got this really nice sunshine home called the Washita. So this is a this is a 1,890 square foot home. It is a three bedroom, two bath home. Y'all are gonna love the size of the bedrooms in this one. They've got some really big bedrooms. The living room ceiling in this is something I've never seen before. Really nice. Extra large kitchen, tons of cabinet space in this home. The master bedroom is awesome. And let me tell you, in the entranceway, you got something I ain't never seen before in a manufactured home. Really cool. You're going to want to check that out. I am at Mid-State Homes here in Purcell, Oklahoma. And so with that, we're going to go ahead and head on in. Trust me, you're going to want to check out their website. And uh, let's get on inside. Okay, so in our entranceway here, you can tell there's no power in this home, but this has got some things that I just had to show you, so I got to get the home. It's really cool. It's not trimmed out. There's no power. That is one way that they cut back on the cost and can pass on the savings to you. You're going to love the price on this one. So with that said, front door, we've got a nice closet right here. <laughs> And this is that thing I was talking about. I mean, I can't say I've ever seen anything like that before. Really cool little bench area to sit down on. You got some cabinets down below. And then here's your whole kind of little entrance area. You've got this little post right here. And then that separates out your dining room area. And we're going to do things a little on the different side this time. We're going to get this kind of dining room area here. Well, not kind of. This is your dining room area. And then we're going to go to the kitchen. Then we're going to do the guest bedrooms and all that stuff at this end and we'll come back and get the living room. We've got this little buffet area. I know my light, not the best light, especially when it's super dark in this home because of all the dark colors. And a lot of, I mean, crown molding, it's great big crown molding all the way around the home. Looks really, really good. But as I was saying, with this home as dark as it is in here, my light's really having to struggle to uh, bring this one to you. So here is our refrigerator. So we've got more cabinets up above here. I like that the microwave is at counter level. Great big drawers down below. What do we have here? Oh, just a little short cabinet, okay. Of course, soft closed doors. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it, but just in case I didn't, this is a sunshine home. It's a really long island here. Now I don't know if Sunshine Homes actually makes the same, makes the Sunshine dog food too, but the logos look to be the same. <laughs> I 
And they went with the uh, LG appliances in this one. And I want to point out we've got a pot filler right here. And we've got this great big corner cabinet. Apologize for the lighting in this one. Now here is your guest bathroom. So of course now as soon as we walk in there's your shower tub combo. I mean look at the size of that thing. And then we come back over here and there is your sink. You got a whole stack of drawers over here. And there's our toilet. So you actually have a water closet in your guest bathroom. I know, right? That's not something you see very often. And then I done skipped over one of the bedrooms, so we'll get that as we come back. So here's bedroom number one. Nice walk-in closet. And our back door right there. And in our utility room, we've got our washer and dryer hookups right when we walk in. We've just got a shelf up there. I'm sure you could easily option in cabinets because I've seen cabinets above them in the Sunshine Homes. We've got the sink over there. And then a folding table right over here. And on the back side, is your spot for your freezer there and your electrical panel there's your furnace and water heater and then your front guest bedroom or kids room is right here can give you an idea so if we're looking out the door there's where it is in location to your kitchen Once again, we got a nice walk-in closet. Okay, now let's go get that living room. I know I was kind of teasing you about the, the ceiling being different than anything I've seen before. Not entirely different, but you kind of got the vaulted, coffered ceiling at the same time. Usually you've just got the beam running down the center or it's a flat ceiling and you've got the, the beams running straight across. Now, as you can tell, all the trim supplies are in here. So I've kind of got a kind of limited to where I can and can't go here to check it out. But really nice living room area here. All right, now we'll turn the corner. Come get your master bedroom. Now this is one nice large bedroom. Now 
Now here's something else that you don't see very often. You've got the transom window, but it opens at each end. Now our closet is on the back side of your bedroom door over here. I know it's dark. <laughs> there we go. You like said this is a you know I love sunshine homes and this one is just kind of really nice. It's just really dark in here. <laughs> so it uh, but I had to get this one to you with just the different things that they did in this one. Okay, now let's go into our primary bathroom here. We've got the cabinets as soon as we walk in. Now, of course, they don't have all the shelves set. Hello, Raiden. Oops, that's a little on the bright side. There we go. Hello, Raiden. We've got a set of drawers here that runs all the way down. You got two windows in your bathroom that open up. In this great big soaker tub. And then we've got our tile shower. With a bench in it. So you've got the wand at that end. And then the rain head shower at this end. And I hadn't pointed out over here yet. Besides our water closet in here with the cabinets which is something that Sunshine's Home does a lot of. You do have a door that goes into your closet from your bathroom. Now, if you didn't want that door there, you might be able to get a set of cabinets put in there for some linen storage. And with that as an option, you should leave a comment in the comment section down below letting me know if they're dark like this, should I just not film them? Should I bring them to you so you can see them? What did you like about the home? What kind of changes would you like to see? And don't forget to hit the like button. Hitting that subscribe button. Turn it on the notifications. And I will be back with some price information here shortly. I do appreciate you watching. All right. So now we got to get into some price information on this beautiful sunshine home. He said, I really wish I could have done better justice for it. Uh, unfortunately, you know, as a way for mid-state homes to pass on those price savings to you, they don't trim them out, they don't put the power on, things like that. So it makes it a little harder to film, but these guys were uh, really helpful in uh, getting the information. They had some homes that um, nobody's ever seen before. So I wanted to make sure I brought those to you. Not Sunshine Home. They're called New Vision, which is a different brand. They may or may not be up on the channel. I'll make a link down below and let you know. But anyway, we got to get back to this here Sunshine Home called the Washita. It is 1,980 square foot, three bedroom, two bath. And in June of 2023, at Midstate Homes here in Purcell, Oklahoma, you can get this for the low, low price of $180,000. Thanks for watching, and I got somebody coming in. Have a good day. Bye.